What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craft Master Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials and pick up Arrangement Arsenal 10 Arrangement Templates designed in Studio 1.3. Also works in Studio 1.4. They're just uh, regular project files with the arranger set up. I have my routing template set up in there. Um, and we just take 10 arrangements from popular songs like God's Plan um freak it of uh, uh um freaked it with uh, kendrick lamar um a bunch of other songs it's 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 uh, all of them are different tempos different vibes and it just basically shows you that you don't have to you know to to, to to use arrangements you don't have to use the same instruments or the same type of drums but just that formula of how to break up the bars can do so much for you man so you definitely want to check that out um today we're going to be looking at impact and how to get the most out of it man this is probably one of the uh, probably one of my favorite improvements in into uh, Studio One Four. So let's get into it. Uh, the the thing that I see because uh, when I was a uh when, when when I was kind of exploring other workflows, I got into live, and one of the things I liked about live is that you could you could set up drum racks with like a bajillion kicks on a pad and and, and scroll through them and stuff. And um, but it, it was it was kind of weird the the way it was set. It wasn't weird, but it was different from what I was used to in Studio One and being able to browse a folder. Um, and studio one brought it back man and they you know they they really killed it with this workflow so impact um when when you drop it onto the arrange window uh, a couple things you want to notice is if you click in the right hand corner if if you care about stuff like this i do you can switch all the pads to mono they are they are set to be um they're set to be uh, stereo which is which is no bueno for me for drums so the first thing that I do is when I open an impact I'll go ahead and I'll just write uh, or just uh, click on the bottom of these set this all to um, set, set these all to mono and now what these numbers signify is these are the outputs of your um, these are the outputs uh, of uh, of the actual VST so these are so these are individual I'm sorry these are these are individual channels that are th that are going to be um, sent out to the mixer which what that which what that translates um, to you is you can uh, put individual plugins on these individual sends and returns the whole deal so when you go ahead and do that you just want to go ahead and press x bring up bring up your mixer and you go over to impact right here that's the, that this is the impact we just brought up and this channel will remain silent and then boom you'll see you'll see the rest of your impact channels laid out like so so that is awesome now the way that i like to set impact up you know you guys if you guys are like me you got all different types of drums um maybe you have specific um kits or sound designers uh, like like i have three sound designers that i, that I mess with i have I, I, I like ill mind stuff i like jules jadon stuff and i like sound oracle stuff so um I, you know i could go ahead and go to um you know go to my um go to my jules folder and make a um and make a and, and, and make a jules kit now let's see here do, 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 do. where where's my stuff at i thought i had a shortcut for that never mind so let's just go to drums jules j Dodd. so so here's the different kits like rc trap drums black gold boom kitchen and the coding kit right so the the way that i use it is i'll go ahead and i'll say for this rc trap drums i'll do i'll do the kick on this pad the uh the uh the claps here the claps and snaps here i'll do the um the perks and loops here and then the hats the hats and symbols here right okay and then and then the reason the the, the this is this is why this is lit is because once you do that you can then use this to cycle through the entire the entire um the entire folder which is great and i mean if you got if you got something like a loop like this here okay you could just you could just take you could just take and all right i just want this one shot here 
with that little chant in the background that's fire right so i you know i'll do something like that and then i'll go to another kit do the same thing um get the snare drum right and then i'll go ahead and get the bass drum right get the hi-hats and the perks all right so you get the idea the the super powerful thing about this is is no matter how like however how, uh you want to break it out they've added um you, you know different groups in, into this um you, you know so, you know similar to machine where you can where you, where you have a maximum of eight of eight groups um you can also use this to reverse the samples um you can normalize your samples in here which is also really powerful um and each each one of these comes with a a, a pitch so you could transpose it you could you could put this filter in and engage soft clipping which is which is really 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 dope um and then and then of course uh uh um, shape your adsr and the cool thing that studio one has uh has implemented you guys remember if you had studio one studio one two or, or any of those you remember uh you went crazy when you first got it because you thought it didn't have velocity changes because you had to uh twist this knob for whatever reason there they have this knob here so um so now they have it twisted all the way to the right engaged for you so you don't have to worry about that i mean you guys that are coming on to studio one now you guys are really uh lucky because that was a struggle um you also have you also have the choke groups that you can use um choke self that's similar to fl fl studio cut itself um so you so you have that um different uh different quantize options um layer modes so on and so forth but what i'll do is after i get done building one of these out where i have this i'll just go ahead and save it um see i already have my oracle pack here let's take a look at my oracle pack my oracle pack has the uh, the kick the every every column is a different kit right so this is this is one kit this is another kit So this is really nice, man. And then from here, you can go into the pattern editor, mix stuff up. But this is the, the this is something that is super beneficial to a quick workflow that you can implement in your templates and don't have to go into the browser and digging for a bunch of samples. You have it right here. You can audition your sounds and get to work. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio12Tutorials.com. Keep it simple, don't be basic, and we will see you on the next one.